Morning people, welcome along to Friday, the start of another glorious weekend. Well, I had a bit of a shock yesterday. I was having my afternoon nap, as normal, and there's a big hammer at the door. And as soon as the front door was open, I thought, I know that woman. And I thought, oh my God, what have I done now? It was Crystal, one of the nurse, nurses, doctor type ladies at the surgery. And she come to look at my leg. Because you know how bad it's been. Well, she was umming and ahhing. Then she started to poke it and get the dead skin off, like skin the snake. And she said, Tracy, well, there's a lot of stuff on here. You What are you using to get it off? So Tracy told her. She went, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Then she done a full MOT on me, done my oxygen levels, my heart rate, my blood pressure, temperature. And she said, what are your blood sugars like? I said, well, to be truthful, I said, I think I've got an infection somewhere because they're running very high again. I said, the Dr. B had increased my two joint to 72 and um, then I had to do my, uh, what was the other one? Nova Rapid. Nova Rapid. I had to uh, increase that by two if it was up. Well, I've been increasing it, increasing it, and it's still, it was 18 this morning. Well, when she done my... Bloods this afternoon, there was 17.4. So she's uh, prescribed me some flucloxillian uh, antibiotics to see if that's going to help with my leg going down. Um, she actually said something that made me proud. Even though I don't fear it, she said that your edema, which is the water retention, is going, which is good, because if it wasn't, it'd be peeing out of my leg. A good way of telling it, isn't it? And then, then the darling wife, Tracy, goes, well, he's leaking there, look. I thought, oh, my God, shut up. Then she mentioned the swelling down below. That had gone down. So all we've got to do now is keep plodding on. Uh, I told her about the accident I had in my wheelchair when I went to the hospital. And she said, come on, Gary, get yourself out. So tomorrow, because, well, tomorrow, which will be tomorrow, today, because Siobhan's not at college, and if she comes or not, it doesn't matter. Me and Tracy are going to go over the road to Asda and maybe Costa for lunch because I'm fed up with sitting in here being a miserable git because that's what I've become. But on another hand, when Tracy took Siobhan to college yesterday, I thought, oh, let's go and have a go at Foxy Bingo, which I did. And me being me, I had a winner. £38.50, so we're back to having £57 in our account now. Uh, no doubt Tracy will make good use of that money tonight playing bingo. Um, it's not bad, 10 p a go for a ticket. I do uh, four corners, a full, a full house, single line and a double line, so it's worth it. I mean, you get about 40 quid for a 10 p stake. Not bad for a line. And I say it gives her something to do, rather than just look after me. A bit of relief from the normal, that's what I'd say. Um, yeah, and that, that, that was that yesterday, really. We had that chilli con carne in the end. Very nice too. Tracy does make a mean chilli. Went it with a bit of uh, boiled white rice and some cheese and onion type garlic flatbread type stuff. I don't know what it's called. A flatbread. Yeah, so I enjoyed that. Uh, still plan my way through my um, American candy from iFoods. Well, I will be at the rate that I eat it. I only have one or two sweets a night. Uh, replacement for your cigarettes. That's what one of the nurses called it. I thought, God, if I, if I could smoke candy, there wouldn't be any left. But there you go. Uh so, I'm still waiting to hear what people are up to this weekend. It was nice to hear from you, Lucy, yesterday. Thanks for your comments. Um, I hope the chickens are being behaved. Now they're out of quarantine and allowed out. And she said, Tracy, that the adopt new adoptive rescue chickens, mm. they're, very, they're like cuddles. They come along, jump up onto their knee, they sit there and cuddle up to them. Isn't that nice? Mm. Just that her and Siobhan don't like the idea of chickens. Well, I don't mind 
chicken. Well, you, you've got to hold a chicken. It's nat oh, natural to hold a chicken. Well, yeah, I've held a... Obviously, I've cooked a dead chicken. No, you can't cook a dead chicken. Well, you know what I mean. You can't have dead chickens, can you? Oh, she's bad. She's bad news. She's bad news. She really is. Yeah, she's bad news. 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 Yes, I'm sure him and his wife, Carissa, had a nice day. Probably spent it in bed, unless you were working, Rich. Um, what else? That's it. That's about it. So I'm sitting here waiting for a nurse and my carers today. Should be Charlotte and Angie, but Charlotte's been off because her daughter, Maisie, hasn't been very well. So you've got to look after them while they're young because they're the ones that are going to look after you when you get older. Well, that's what you hope. I'd like to see when my Siobhan's going to start helping me. <laughs> well, yeah, probably when it's too late. Anyway, hello, Nicole, Angie. Yeah, and you, Rob, and Rosie the dog. You look after yourselves, and I shall speak to you tomorrow. Love you lots. Ta-ra.